After doing like full matte, full coverage, full glam in Houston, I realized I might need to change my makeup routine one more time. I probably like, just one more time for the summer. That's it. This is like my new makeup carrier. Isn't this literally the cutest thing ever? It's from Merit Beauty. We have a lot to talk about with Merit Beauty in this video. I want to try a whole bunch of products in this video and I hope that like everything I bought is good because you know when you spend so much money on your makeup and then it's like the hype isn't eating like the viralness isn't viraling for you like you're not you're not in love with the products I hate that I like to keep all of my makeup tutorials very beginner friendly like I want all the new makeup girlies to be able to like find their piece with my makeup routines so I always like to do a sharp line under my brows You know what they say, eyebrows on fleek, the fuck? I don't know if they say that anymore, but I'm still saying that because it was a very important time in my life. Now that I have these nice brows, we are gonna go in and use a new product. These are all my new products, by the way, so like, if every time you see me with this bag, it's a new product. This is the Brow 1980 by Merit Beauty. This is like a volumizing pomade, so I'm hoping, hoping, hoping I got it in the shade Black Brown that it just pulls my eyebrows together. As you guys know, I've been using like a clear brow gel and I just want to see like what the difference is between a clear and a black. Like this is so slick. I like opening new products. I like that nice slick new product feel. Okay, I open it backwards. I hate the look of sparse brows, but I also feel like I over pluck and over wax my brows to kind of get them to be more full. So I'm hoping I can find the perfect product. To fix that. I don't like it. What do you guys think? My brows look pretty fucking good if you ask me. But I just might be biased because you know, I'm got my body. We love her. We put her away. Next, I'm gonna go into the tinted moisturizer. This is going to be the NARS tinted moisturizer in the shade Deep One Guernsey. So if you guys know, I'm a huge NARS girly. I do feel like the NARS products I've been using have been making me look just a little yellow. For the, like the ladies of color out there, I don't know if you guys have experienced the same thing. I feel like there's a lot of warm products, but not a lot of neutral products. So I'm really, really, really hoping that the NARS does me right. It doesn't usually do me wrong, but I just, we'll see. I mean, skin matches there. I also think my skin is a lot darker than my face, so I feel like matching my face to my skin is kind of where I'm at right now. And I know it's dark. Don't come for me. I know it's gonna be darker. Another thing that just came to my mind, the forefront of my mind, is work because I just left. And I feel like with work, I don't put a lot of effort into like my makeup and hair because I work in a male dominated industry. And I personally don't think they, they care if I got a cut crease or a contour or highlighter on. But as of recently, I feel like I want to present myself better and I don't think makeup is honestly gonna make or break that change, but I think having like an easy makeup routine that I can do for work that makes me feel more confident is the way to go. I always have to do like a lights off. I feel like I look a little dewy, I look glowy, but I feel like I added some coverage and covered like a little bit of like my low hanging dark spots. Okay, and I like how my eyebrows are still like full, like after applying that, so. Okay, Nars. Okay, Danica. Y'all might be onto something. Next, we're gonna talk about concealers. Into my new bag. I got three new concealers yesterday. Did I need three concealers? 
Probably not. I've heard nothing but great things about Howl's Labs and I just haven't honestly gotten around to getting anything. So I thought might as well get two concealers. These are gonna be the Triclone Skin Tech Concealer Correctors in 42 Deep Natural and 44 Deep Natural. Sticking to more of like the natural skin tone girlies today. I'm, we're on the same page. I'm gonna swatch both. This is gonna be the first shade. Lady Gaga, get back to the lab. Fix the applicator. A little bit darker, but it's like summer. So I feel like, I'm feeling like, yes, I spent a lot of money getting all these products I might not need, but I also feel like I need these products because if I'm like tanning and outside and living life, I might get a little darker. But nothing wrong with a little, a little melanin boost. Okay, this looks a lot darker than I did yesterday at the store. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter shade, which is I think 42. I'm just gonna cover up my, like to me, I feel like, that is a lighter shade where it could almost be like a, a conceal, like under eye conceal, more than like a dark circle corrector. Can I try the darker shade? Oh. I feel like the concealer is a little bit dark, but maybe if I mix the two concealers together, that I should have done from the beginning. I just need to mix them together and they are literally the perfect, like literally can barely even see this concealer on my hand, it's so perfect. I'm gonna buff everything out to blend everything together. I feel like I'm giving off like a no makeup makeup right now. I feel like I need both of these shades to like give me the perfect concealer coverage, which is fine because I already bought them. So like at this point it's like, I'm saving money by using both, you know? The other product I got just to FYI is the Soft Matte NARS Foundation. This is in the medium dark shade three. This is supposed to be a neutral shade, so we'll see. I do like this because this is a full coverage, in my opinion, a full coverage concealer. But that compared to this mix is very light. I don't know if this would even Too much for me. I don't think this is like my, my shade. Let's see. Well, maybe. I did surgery on myself. It was a long story. I did surgery on myself right there, so I'll try that. We're not gonna love her and put her away, but we're gonna think constructively about it because it, it looks like it makes sense. I'm actually really liking the way that I look right now. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm loving how I look. I just wanted little changes, like I didn't want anything too crazy, but I wanted to feel good. And I feel like my girlies who get it, get it, especially my corporate girlies and like my girls in like their mid twenties. I feel like when I was in my early twenties, I tried to keep up with the trends. I was still in college. I tried to be like whatever the sorority girls were wearing, like I wanted to wear, like I wanted to fit in. And now I feel like I'm kind of finding myself. Is this tacky? I feel like this is tacky to say. But I feel like I'm finally finding myself and trying to like Try the things that I like. Like, I like NARS. And like, although NARS might not be like the newest and the it girl thing right now, I like it. So like, I feel confident like being like, okay, everyone's been talking about Hourglass Concealer, which I bought, as we know, in my haul. And I liked it. It was great, but I only really got that because everyone was telling me I needed to have it instead of being like, I, I want to try something new. So I am going to become the influencer. I'm going to be the one telling you guys what to get. I feel like I've taken a step back in my own life. I feel like I haven't been engaged in my own life. I feel like I've been waiting to hear the next big thing before I even try something new. I don't know if anyone feels that way. I feel like with social media and TikTok and everything, myself, giving you guys like the newest products and things, like I feel like we kind of look to each other to see what the next big thing is. And I kind of want to be that person that you guys maybe kind of look to for, you know, shit. I don't know. I'm not makeup really. I always say that. I'm not makeup really, but that's the thought. What else is in my bag today? Another Merit Beauty product that I'm honestly so excited to try. This is the Beverly Hills Flush Bomb. This is brand new and they sent it to me. They sent it to me of all people to like, 
try it. So I need to give an honest review. I need to see what this is about. Um, so yeah. Let's see. I love the little gold. I'm like a silver girly, but I like the little gold accent. So, so look close up. This is the blush. It kind of, I'm trying to figure out what kind of shade like it's giving off. It's like a little mauve. I don't know if you can see it. I think this is gonna be the perfect blush shade to kind of pull together this very natural look that I'm going for. Natural, but glam. Soft glam? Let me bring it back soft glam. Wait. Can you, I actually really think that's really cute. I might've put too, I might've put too much. Might have got too into it. Compared to like my usual hot pink blush, I feel like this gives that like glowy rosy cheek without it being like high, bright pink in your face. Do you know that makes sense? So maybe instead of like swiping onto my cheek, I think I'm gonna use my putty blush brush and just like. Blah, blah, blah. This is actually super pretty. Put on my nose. Blush is so scary because it's like, I feel like you don't want to buy a blush and then it not present on your skin tone. I think I kind of look better with the lights off. Oh yeah, there you go. I actually like that. This blush makes me feel like I'm like blushing, like a blushing bride. I like it. Staying on the Merit Beauty hype train. We got two more products I want to try. This is gonna be a signature lipstick and a lip oil. I'm gonna pair them together because y'all know I like a good glowy matte lipstick look. So this is gonna be their lipstick in the shade Ginger. Love this container. This is so like aesthetically pleasing. Oh, how do I open it? Is it a twist? Hold on, am I gonna break it? It looks like it's just like it could be a nude color. Let's try it out. This is like a almost like a like a perfect nude pink color. You know who the fuck wears lipstick like this? My sister Shay. And like putting this lipstick on, I feel like her. Come looking at myself like, do I look like my fucking sister right now? Kinda. Let's line her up. There it goes. I feel like I look completely different than I usually, like this makeup look is like, not like, it's out of my comfort zone, but I really like it. I wanna see, this is the, Shade Slick Gelee Tinted Lip Oil. This is in the shade Maple Tin. Now this, this looks more like me. I like a good berry color. I kind of like how I look right now, honestly. I want to try to use the powder and I want to try to do something with my eyes just to make them look a little bit more alive. So I was sold, as I told you guys, on the Huda Beauty baking powder. The lady at Sephora also sold me on the powder puff, said I needed it. How do I open you? Did I break it? Okay. That's how it comes out. So it comes with this little brush powder puff. This is not for my girlies who got acrylics, okay? I'm gonna break a nail in here. ASMR, okay. Can you tell this is my first time doing this? Because I don't know what I'm doing. Where else am I supposed to put this? Okay, that's an experience for sure. The powder 
brushing thing. I didn't do anything with my eyes. I don't even know what I would want to do with my eyes. I'm gonna go and just cover it with Coloto Concealer on my brush. So I started rewatching Vampire Diaries because Corey and I are going to Mystic Falls for her birthday. It's not a surprise, so I can say that here. Yeah, I don't have any surprise planned for that. Sorry, Corey. I was gonna be like, oh, Corey, don't listen to this, but um, so I got. But I've been rewatching Vampire Diaries to, you know, get in the mindset. And I love the way that Elena does her makeup. I don't know if you guys even know what I'm talking about here. But uh, Makeup Shayla Wifey Palette. You guys know this is one of my favorites. I wanna try to just do like a very neutral, I feel like I need a new eyeshadow palette. Well, I don't need it, but I wouldn't hate if I got one. This time I decided to go in with the shade Cocktail, Cocktail Hour instead of Dress Code to do like a neutral color instead of like a warm eye like I usually do. which I kind of like just doing like a smoky eye. I'm gonna blend it out a lot more. This is my Moon Dust in the Space Cowboy shade. I was influenced to get this last summer. Um, I'm just gonna put a little bit of like glitter right here in this like inner section of my eye. So a little and then I proceeded to put as much glitter as ever been known to mankind. I feel like this is a very neutral look. Like, I feel like it looks like I'm barely wearing any makeup at all. Shade match, question mark. And I will spray my girl down with some Charlotte Tilbury airbrush setting spray. I like it. Yeah. Also, um, she, huge, 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 huge. Shout out to the girlies at Merit Beauty for gifting me some brand new products that I got to try out today, and I'll see you guys again very soon. Bye. Just kidding. I want to put some highlighter on. Champagne pop. Now, I'm actually leaving. Bye.